Shane is still mowing and I'm in passenger princess in it. <laughs> I'm actually on Amazon right now, last minute ordering the kids Easter stuff. It's supposed to be here by Friday if I order it today. So I need to get that done. I completely, like it had slipped my mind that this weekend it was Easter. I'm, I've like been on autopilot. Like I'm already bad with time, but I've been really bad with time this year. Especially with just how like life is right now. Like I've just been like ADH in it oh, up in here. I've been using ADHD as, as like a superpower or something. So this year I'm doing things a lot different with Easter. Uh, usually I go all out and I fill Easter baskets, overflow Easter baskets, and just have like an abundance of stuff. I've went huge before, but we're not doing that. I mentioned in my homeschooling day in the life video that Christmas is going to look a lot different this year and so are holidays like Easter, birthdays, things like that. It's going to look a lot different. So I'm not going to overfill baskets because honestly the kiddos don't need little things like that. They don't need like the little, they're cute and they're fun, but like the little, you know, bunnies that hop and the little plastic eggs that, that you wind up and stuff. Like those things just get lost and broken in the house. So I'm um, sitting here thinking about like, okay, we are spending a crap ton of time outside. I've been trying really hard not to say crap, and crap ton is just like that one word in my vocabulary. It's that one conjunction word that just, that hangs around. And we, we've been spending a lot of time outside, like 50% of the time outside. So, I'm thinking about getting like outdoor things. Maybe like, so, you know those balls that like they throw and it like sticks to the little paddle like thing? I'm thinking about getting them those like a, like two so that two can play so that one can play with the other so two are over here playing and two are over here playing and i found some for 20 bucks for colorful ones um i don't know if that's a good price or not let me look up hey sir ball paddle boards near me mm -hmm. you're always late to the game i found this on the web no i'm not looking for a stand-up paddle board siri i'm not stand-up paddle boarding down a river let me just top it because siri's not cooperating yeah, I'm not seeing any near me, so I don't know if that's a good price or not. $20? I feel like that's a little bit, like, pricey for, like, those little cheap, like, ball things. It's $20 acceptable. It's, like, $19.99. Is that good for that? It's got a green and blue set and a pink and yellow set. And it comes with three balls and a drawstring bag that's going to get lost in five seconds <laughs> of it arriving here. But I've got those for... $19.99 and then I was like what else can I get because I'm not going to do like big Easter baskets I'm going to do this that I'm showing you guys and then just little treat bags like little treat bags with candy in it That's what I'm doing this year. Candy is edible. Candy I know for sure will be of use to them <laughs> So the little baggies the little treat bags will work perfect for them And then you know this stuff that they can actually play with and they'll actually have fun with Some of the stuff they can play with for long past the Easter holiday like those balls but this is another thing I have in the cart, and it's a four pack of birdhouses, and we have so many trees. I almost said a crap ton, and I stopped myself. <laughs> we have so many trees. I mean, we have like 42 billion trees out here. They need birdhouses. We have one birdhouse that the lady before that lived here, she left us. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, against the snow, it's red. It's so beautiful. But the I would love to have, hey baby. You can't see. No, I'm looking at something for Cammy. Go, 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 go. Oh, what? Okay, you can get candy. I would love to have homemade birdhouses from my kiddos, like in the trees. Ah, I would love that. So I found this, and for four birdhouses, the paint and everything, it is $21. So that right there would be $40 together. But then I saw this. And this, you know, I, I have to have something Jesus related in there, right? Like, the bunny stole the holiday. Like, it's Jesus. It's about Jesus. So, I found this. No bunny loves me like Jesus. <laughs> you know I gotta get it. It's $5 per color in book, though, and I need four, so that's another $20. So, $20, $40, $60. That adds up to $60, and I wanted to keep it under $50 for, like, the treats and everything. I don't know if Colton's really gonna like that no bunny loves me like Jesus because if I'm looking at the pictures right here we got like little cutesy foxes um so maybe I should pick out like something else for him 
And all that will be here by Friday, so I'll only have to go to the Dollar Tree to get the gift bags and the little candies. <gasps> I found something. It's called My First Gratitude Journal. I really like this Christian gratitude journal. Speaking of Colton. What are you doing? Well, I'm just sitting here talking about what I'm ordering y'all right now. For Easter? How do you know? They have a Moses Lego figure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a giant six foot plus Jesus doll. Hold on, wait a minute, huh? I think I'm just going to, I don't, you can't, you don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just going to get what I had in the, that's not me farting by the way, like that's the, the seat making. Cone's like you're overcompensating information mom. I think I'm just going to leave what was in there. And maybe. Uh, I don't know, I can't because Colton won't like that. Okay, so we're not going all out like we usually do, right? Because we had that conversation at the beginning of the year. But, so I'm trying to find things that you guys will really enjoy. But, like, not little crappy. Not little, I said that word again. Cheap not stuff. little, yes, thank you. Not little cheap stuff, you know, that gets broken and lost and you don't really care about. Except for these little chickens that wind up. Nanny got them little chickens that wind up last year. And they still have one. That was their pets. Like, they played with those for a solid month. It was really odd. <laughs> they did. So, y'all did play with it. I just, I'm trying to find things that are reusable. Things that, you know, get your mind gears to going and stuff. Not just random stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're saying the Sonic and the Rainbow stuff I like is random. <sighs> <laughs> I spin that around. <laughs> you did spin that around. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be right back. I'll be right back when I don't have kids. Years. It's been 45 minutes and I'm still here. Teen boys are so hard to shop for. I don't even know what to get. I was literally legitimately about to get this boy a nobody loves you like Jesus does coloring book. I forget he's a teenager. Okay, problem. I finally felt something, but it is twice the price of the girls and Cammies. It's a Bible stories scratch and sketch. But it is right up Colton's alley. Like it's a, as you read, you scratch and sketch. That's up his alley. Like look, he would love that. So how am I gonna do this? And see, not only is it double the price, but it won't get here in time. It won't get here by Friday. Now, National Parks and Landmarks one would, scratch and sketch puppies would, but go figure, scratch and sketch Bible stories won't. I love our backyard, but our backyard has a growing grass issue. We're gonna try to remedy that today. I'm using the Scott's Thicker Lawn Grass Seed. It's got grass seed, fertilizer, and soil improver in it. I'm gonna be putting it in my dispenser here. I'm gonna be walking through here, and we're gonna first try to take care of the bank. I might, I may only have enough for the bank today, and we may have to come back and put more up here later. Move, move baby. We'll be seated. We may have enough. I thought more than this comes out. Shane's just walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, playing with this little wind up toy. You look like that one kid in the marching band that they didn't trust with any good instrument, so they give him like a triangle. <laughs> Why I'm, are you so mad? I'm so mad. Well, I mean, I love this house. I love everything here. But <laughs> at the tra trailer park. You got the hiccups? Yeah. The ice cream would always come and be $1, $2, or $3. And one time when we were getting that stuff up, we heard, we saw the ice cream truck go by 
and we were like, we were doing the snow, come on over here, over here. I was like, come on. They make the trailer park so they don't come up driveways. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. Man, we don't even have ice cream in our freezer. Okay, I'll get you some ice cream. <laughs> you laughing at me? Yeah. You ain't gonna laugh at me when I go lush this lawn out here. Yeah, I'm gonna be out <laughs> okay. here making grass angels. Look at Moon. Look, look at Moon. Look at Moon. She's trying to Moon. Make, look, she's trying to get her to play with her. Moon she pie. She her at all, Rena. She was doing this. She was hopping on her back paws. She. To just smack at its butt. Watch her, watch her, watch her. Look. Don't hurt, Jordan. <laughs> I hear ice cream. Look, that thing hurts whenever you walk by me. It feels like little pellets from a pellet gun. Oh, don't be a baby. I'm not being a baby. Move, move, baby. <laughs> You'll be seated. She's still down there yelling for the ice cream truck. It hurts. Is it hitting you? Ow! Oh, shoot. I got in my eye. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. It's blue outside. It's not even dark. Literally right here. And we I think we just spotted a coyote on camera. Which I know that our neighbor said that they had been coming out earlier and stuff. But we the kids are still out here. The dogs are still out here. I just had to run and put the chickens up. So I'm a little bit freaked out. And Binks and Tater are freaking out too. And they're in their little playpen, thank goodness. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in for the night. I'm not, even though we were out here playing and the kids were out here and we were all having fun with the frisbee, I'm not leaving them out here after I saw that. <coughs> Is it, like my dogs are never like this, they sense them. I have to even worry about like when I bring the dogs out here to use the bathroom. Sometimes Rocky has to come out here at like three in the morning, he'll wake me up whining and I'll come out here and I'll take him out at like three o'clock in the morning. And it makes me so nervous. I've got to figure out something. They get over the barbed wire fence back there like it's nothing. I've got to figure out something. Literally in the morning, I've got to find something. I've got to figure out something. I'm going to head to Tractor Supply and ask the workers there like what they would suggest. Because it's coming down to the safety of my dogs and the safety of my chickens. From this angle, we're having issues. And then from the neighbor's dogs, we're having issues. We literally had them charge my kids just a few minutes ago in our front yard before all this happened. So I've got to figure something out in the morning and I got to figure it out fast. I'm running off of almost three hours of sleep. So I'm a little bit loopy right now. It probably no ain't the best time to go into tractor supply while being loopy, but at least at Royal King. If it was Royal King, I'd probably be leaving with some chickens or something and blame it on a sleep deprivation. I need any excuse to get a chicken. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Okay, you be good in here. I will take you to Walmart and we will get a chicken. Oh, well. No, she wants a real chicken. A real she chicken. She didn't specify. I have no idea where I'm at in here. I'm just pretending like I'm a country person. I know what I'm doing. Ain't we? Yeah. I'm the right one. You need to have notes. Purple. Have you seen the pet fence? <laughs> what? Come on! Why? Come on! Where are we going? Come on. Where? Where are we going? The clubhouse? Okay. Okay, where to? It's <laughs> telling Tully to go to. Here, where to? Where to? Oh. Where do you want to go? 
Okay, guys, let me sit over here and explain what we're doing today. Okay, so we have almost two and a half acres of property, and I got five dogs. And my dogs don't get to enjoy a lot of the property. We are far away from the road, like up here on the hill, but it's still too close to the road for my liking, so I don't let them go in the front yard. Also, our neighbors, their precious little dog <laughs> comes up in our yard all the time and torments my dogs. So to keep mama bear from uh being let loose out the cave i'm going to i've been thinking what in the world can i do so that my dogs a have ample amount of room to run we have all this land it's our land it's their land it's your land it's my land i want them to be able to enjoy it like they they need to be able to enjoy it so i've been looking at fence prices and and and, and the fence prices are insane they're insane so I was going to go with the six foot privacy fence, but we have almost two and a half acres. And if we're wanting to fence in all the acreage or even half of the acreage, that's an acre of land that we would have to surround with six foot privacy fence. That's not reasonable right now. It might be in the future, but it's definitely not right now. So privacy fence was out of the question. And then I thought, well, maybe we could build our own fence. But I have an array of sizes of dogs. So I have really little dogs and I have really big dogs. And I need a fence that's going to be high enough for the big dogs and little enough for the little dogs. So I'm kind of limited on what we can build. Like, because I was going to do the farmhouse, like, one, you know, they're like white farmhouse fences. I was going to do that. But the wood for even an acre, half of our land for the dogs, it, it would still be really pricey. So I was going over and over in my mind of what I could do. I even went and looked at like pallet fences on Pinterest and things like that. And I couldn't find any pallets near me or anything like that. So what I decided to try, and I'm a little bit hesitant about this. I have dogs near us that are very adamant on getting on our land. So I need to prevent that from happening before one of my dogs get hurt. So the only thing that was in my budget that I feel like would help that and be a, a good barrier between the two is an electric fence. And I'm a little bit worried about that because I don't like the thought of an electric fence in my dogs. Like I don't like the thought of electric fence in any dogs, but like I don't want my dogs, you know, I know it doesn't hurt them. Trust me, I went through an hour long conversation with the person like, is this gonna hurt my dogs? Like, is this okay? Like, is this uh, ethical? I was like, is this ethical? He was like, ma'am, there are animals <laughs> all throughout the back of this. Uh, we had to get like a solar panel thing. He was like, there are animals all across the back of this. Of course it's ethical. And I was like, well, I'm just saying, because I mean, my dogs are my kids and I'm not putting my kids <laughs> in an electric fence. So what I've been doing is, I'll show you guys what we got to do the fence. But what I've been doing is, I've been taking the dogs up to the post and spraying them with a water bottle. Like, you know, like when cats get up on your counters, like they always say, spray them uh, with a water bottle. That's what I've been doing to kind of deter them from going near the post because I don't want them getting shot. I know it's going to keep them safe inevitably because we do have coyotes like crazy we have coyotes all the time coyotes don't just come out in the night here like they're here in the day which is really wild to me because i always thought that coyotes are nocturnal kind of dogs and i think they are but here if the i mean six o'clock in the evening you start hearing them like we have a pack back here in the very back actually i can show you where my neighbor here he's even trying to come up with a system to keep them away because there's so many of them and i don't think anything's being done about it but like right down here we have a pack that's down there. Coyotes can climb chain link fence. They can climb privacy fence. They are very limber and they can get, they're like huskies. Have y'all ever owned a Siberian Husky? Siberian Huskies can get out of anything. Coyotes can get into anything. That's why my chickens are only free roaming when I'm out. And I'm not outside with them. We have these, I can show you later. We have these uh, fences that have a top to it. That's what the chickens stay in when we're not outside supervising them because hawks, but also because coyotes. Coyotes may can jump over fences, they may can climb fences, because they cannot get through an electric fence. <laughs> so even though I don't like the idea of it for the safety of my dogs, I'm willing to, I'm willing to do it. We've started placing the posts. We haven't put them in the ground, like they're not permanently there yet. I've just been placing them in areas that I think we're gonna need them. And this is what I've been bringing my dogs up to and spraying them when they get near them to hopefully prevent them from getting shocked. Cause I wanna prevent that if at all possible. I was just gonna do a short like fence, but I have large dogs and we have coyotes. It's just not that I can't do that. I'm gonna try everything I can to prevent them from getting shocked even at all. I know it's probably inevitable and I know that it's gonna keep them safe. I know that. I just don't like the thought of, you know, I don't like the 
I don't know what I thought of that. But it's gonna keep them safe from the road and it's gonna keep them safe from the predators. So that's what I'm hoping that this whole escapade does for us. I'm hoping it just keeps my baby safe. In the future now, I want to get one of those six foot privacy fences and I wanna put it right along the electric fence so that there's like a double barrier between the two, sort of. There's a dog coming up here right now. Come on, boo boo, come on. I'm having a lot of issues with this because I don't like how aggressive they are. So eventually I would like a double fence, but right now that's gonna take a lot of saving. So let me show you what I picked up from the tractor supply. These are the posts that we got. They have the sharp top right here. Everybody's playing with the frisbee, so you can probably hear noise in the background. They got the sharp tops right here that go into the ground. This is what you step on to get it into the ground. And then it has little things on it to thread the electrical fence through. I believe I got 35 of those. And like I said, I've already started placing them in areas I want them. They're not permanently, like they haven't been hammered down or nothing. But I got them down through the driveway there in places that I think that will need them. And then this is what I was asking if it was ethical. <laughs> so this is a solar electric fence controller. And this goes off the of sunlight. These are really expensive, but the solar ones are more affordable than the regular ones. So I had to go the solar route and we get a lot of sun up here. I had to get the 10 mile radius because of how big the yard was, but also because particular ones like the two mile one goes for these animals but nothing more so i want the 10 mile one so it would go through the coyotes we don't deal with elk or was that a yam or no. <laughs> lord of mercy a yak is that a yak we don't deal with yaks we don't have horses we don't have cows we uh don't have boars or anything we don't have sheep we do have chickens, but these aren't for the chickens yet. We don't have bunnies, and we're not trying to protect plants. So we needed something durable, so we got the 10 mile solar one. It's supposed to protect from all of these, or protect all of these, whichever one you're trying to do. But I ain't trying to protect the coyotes. I love them, they're God's creation, but they trying to come out my dogs, my, my parent that I'll show up at the principal's office the next day, pitching a fit. <laughs> so while I love them and they're God's creation and they have a purpose, they serve a purpose, they better stay away from my dogs and my chickens. So I got the 10 mile uh, radius solar electric fence controller. The fence is going to start right here at the edge of the house. Follow this entire yard all the way down, all the way around, and go to that end of the house over there. The whole front yard is what we're fencing in right now. But we're eventually, because these are movable, we're eventually going to go all the way around the property. Right now, it's surrounded by barbed wire, but that's not gonna stop anything from coming in. It definitely don't stop Tater from going out. Another ball, another change The answer lies in the equation But the question here is Will you lose or gain? Do I want to know why? Really want to know
probably get in more fans and I literally just talked one of the workers into starting a YouTube channel. Oh, and also. Oh, um, Ma, what do you think of this? I came in here for electric fence stuff. Y'all want a quick tractor spa haul? Picked up some of this for the chickens. It's sunflower and raisin snack mix. And then I got two of these. It's like snack cakes for chickens. It's got sunflowers and mealworms. Hey, Rena, why your haul chirping? Why's my haul chirping? I don't know. I need any excuse to get a chicken. <laughs> I got some, the electrical post that we went there for. And then I got several of these. Oh, several of these. Um, that go, it's kind of like Gatorade for chickens and poultry. I got one of these. For reasons. And I got one of these. This one is a little bit different if you can tell from my last oh. one. The other one was for chickens. Nice. This one's different because we don't want anything playing in that, right? So we got this little baby. Uh -huh. This is Peep. It's a little duckling. And it's a peeping. And then this is the other one, they Billy. Billy so these and are Peep. Billy and Peep. And then the big ones, okay? These guys look like they're going to about to do a commercial for Dawn Dish Soap. I know, I oh, my baby! They are so friendly. It's not even funny. Look how much like different their jumped, bills are. They jumped on my chest in the car. These are geese. I think they're called goslings, like Ryan Gosling. But this one, is this the one with the bright yellow on it? Let me see that one. I'm just kidding. Right Anywhere else I'd be this, a one, this is Jerky. My <laughs> name's that, Jerky. Why does Jerky look like he's got green like he's been sun bleached? I know. It's he's all... a daggone sun bleached potato. And then baby. this one. He's my baby. And this one's Crumb. So we have Crumb and Jerky. <laughs> Alright, you gotta touch it. Take it out of there. It's got wormy. Is it dead? Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead. It was it's squishy. Wanna let Jelly touch it? Wormy. <laughs> okay, what do I do now? Alright, bring it over here. Lay it down. Maybe we should have gotten closer, but they're already bleeding. What is that? Oh, it looks like ramen. <laughs> it looks like ramen for chickens. Georgie, get over here and get you some chicken ramen. <laughs> Not chicken flavored ramen. Ramen for chicken. You just stepped on the ramen, Georgie. <laughs> They're literally, literally not even eating it. And these things are $5. I got another one in case they do like it. I got another one for them. And then, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I also got the geese and the duck food. We got the same brand that we get for chicken. You probably hear my ducks in the background. I'm going to let Shane give y'all the grocery haul for the Easter dinner real quick. And then I've got an Easter haul for the kiddos, but I need to get away from little ears before I can show you guys that stuff. All right, we're gonna start this out first. We've got a big old thing of thick sliced bacon. I'm excited for that. We've got two bags of sharp cheddar cheese. They were completely out of the dull cheddar, which is a completely awful dad joke. I'm sorry I subjected you to that. We've got a bag of powdered sugar, along with a bag of light brown sugar. We got some more plastic forks here. And we also got more paper plates, which now that I'm thinking about, it, I don't think we needed these, because I think we- We always need them. Yeah, we'll eat them, you know. I mean- we'll eat them? <laughs> We'll eat them. <laughs> um, blue jeans will eat them. Blue jeans will eat them. She gets all Yeah. We've got two boxes of the blue bonnet right here. That is and not butter, and I asked for butter. This is butter. No, that's margarine. It's like 80% vegetable oil. I'm studying this just to see. Oh, look at what, what, what does that say? What? Butter. It's margarine. It says butter, it's though. It's like 80% vegetable oil. But listen, I don't write the rules. That says butter. So, butter. We got two cans of cream of chicken. Kiddos were running low on their cereals, so we got them some of these Choco Dino Bites. I was actually supposed to get a uh, 12 count of these orange crushes, but they were out, so I had to get the 24 count. We got a 2% milk, 
along with some granulated sugar. We got two cartons of eggs. We got a thing of cornstarch here. We got the Cool Whip, and I made sure to get the big one because for some reason I always get the smaller one, and then you're like, where's the big one? So here's the big one. They got great value. Are they out? Yes. I don't know. Um, oh, we got just lied. We got two things of on Good Friday. On Good Friday, I'm sorry. We got two things of dinner rolls. You said rolls on the list, and I had, I did not want those, but okay. I, I didn't know what you meant. It just said rolls. I was like, it could have been anything. It could have been Hawaiian rolls. Your rolls. It could have been what? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's real funny. Are you fat shaming me right now? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> got some crushed pineapple. Um. I had to get orange sprinkles, but they didn't just have orange sprinkles by themselves, so I had Dang. to get this multicolor one, but it's got orange in it. You're welcome. I can't stand the way you say it. orange. It's orange. 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 You say orange. We got uh, four bags of these broccoli florets, florets. Because I have to eat something on Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> We got a pack of milk chocolate. I, I am proud that we found everything except for buttermilk because they were out. Mm -hmm. So, milk chocolate chips. We got, are you good? We got two boxes of this orange jello. Some creamy peanut butter. We got a thing of these Cadbury mini eggs and this is for a special treat Rini's making for Easter. We've got this tower of green beans, vegetable oil, vegetable broth, chicken broth. We got a big old thing of chicken breasts, all purpose flour, a box of Ritz crackers, two boxes of classic white cake mix, a thing of cups. That was actually not on the list, but I put that on the list anyway. Some baking soda, a big old thing of orange, or oranges, wow, a big old thing of onions, a thing of pecans. This three pack of Velveeta cheese mac and cheese. You can't see this. We got us a big old Easter ham. Then Rainy wanted to get some of these cooking pans. You wanted uh, nine by 10, they were out of nine by 10, so nine I had- Nine by 13 is what I asked for. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Do you see what I see? Um, okay, all right. Why so, did you get the Reynolds? You can't get the great value? I bet you those were six bucks a pan, wasn't they? So I've got six in total of these nine by 13s. And then I got this big old thing for her to cook that juicy ham in. Then we got some drawing things for the kiddos. We've got these multicolor. Did you get Cammy one? No, yeah, we got uh, Cammy this pretty little green one. Makes me think of zombies in Minecraft. You both both. We got those, and then color pencils and color pens, because they were cheap, and I was like, why not? So there you have it. That's our special edition Easter grocery haul. I'm gonna turn this back over to my lovely. Right. Every single holiday, we always thank them for being here and playing a huge part in what we oh, of are able to get. Because we can. You're just gonna say this while I'm looking up at you. Because we of your thank presence every single on the channel. one of y'all. I never want to ever let a holiday dinner go by where I don't thank you guys for playing yes. a huge part. Your thank presence you. on this channel, your time spent here, it does a lot for our family, and it does a lot for our family members outside of our immediate family. Yes. And I thank, want to thank you, you from the bottom of our hearts. Seriously, thank you. But I'm gonna turn this back over to my lovely wife, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Goodbye. I'm not going to show you guys the Easter uh, meal plan. My whole like Easter prep, meal prep, huge dinner thing I'm cooking for us as well as some, I'm taking some plates to some other people and then Shane's mom is coming, my mother-in-law's coming. She usually comes every Easter I'd say. If give and take a couple Easter, she's usually always coming on Easter or we're going down there on Easter. So she's actually coming up here on Easter because she just had surgery and she's not able to cook. And, I, and she offered to cook and I was like, no, you do not need to be I don't even want her driving up here because I know she don't feel well, but I definitely don't want her cooking. Cooking is taxing. I'm a healthy person and my my brain, my brain's a little, you know. Somebody called me mentally ill the other day 
but it's not ill ill <laughs> it's just the adhd like chill <laughs> i'm always getting called names on dag on internet man sometimes i just want to be like let me help you out here like i can think of twenty thousand things more creative than some of the stuff that the internet comes up with but even being a person who struggles with adhd and like being overall healthy other than that like i I know how taxing cooking can be and I don't want her to have to deal with that. So she's going to come up here and we're going to feed her and we're going to feed some other people too. Thank the Lord that we're able to do that but also thank you guys. Like I said, your presence here on the channel does big things and it doesn't only do big things for myself, it does big things for others. I don't share a lot of things that I do because there's a fine line and I don't want any credit whatsoever on anything that I do because it's not me it's not me at all it's God but God uses you guys to do big things trust me when I say big things for people and I want to thank you for that because you your time plays such a huge part in that I don't ever ask you guys for a dollar but I take one of the most valuable things from you and that is your time and I don't want you to think it's in vain I promise you it's not in vain you guys have changed people's lives I, I want to one day really tell you guys what you've done for people in my circle but I've got to come up with a good way to talk about that because I don't ever want the I don't want the attention on me I did the love on two feet series and I did quite a few videos in that you know where I got my brother into a tiny house and I went and cleaned people's stuff and a lot of times I got the comment of you're not supposed to show people what you do for God and things like that and even though that wasn't the majority that wasn't the majority's like feedback there were a select few who felt that way and I had to step back and kind of reevaluate and say you know like I I want to do this for these people and I want to inspire people to do things like this for people but I have to be careful as to how I execute it um, because I have to be careful of how it's portrayed. I don't want people to take it wrong. But I also know that the things that I showed you guys, it, while it is between God and I, there are other things between God and I that nobody will know about. Anything I show on the internet is just me trying to inspire you. If I can inspire you to go buy a scrub daddy, I can inspire you to go do something nice for somebody. Sometimes people just need to push. Sometimes people need to be motivated. Sometimes people need to be influenced to do those things and it's not because people are bad it's not because you know it's not because it takes a lot of talking them into or motivating or anything sometimes people just don't think to do things and whenever you see others do it like on other platforms or on this platform you see that people do it it reminds you in times whenever kind of holy spirit gives you a nudge and it's like i want you to give to that person or i want you to do this for that person it's not always money sometimes it's your time sometimes it's your effort sometimes it's your skills it's not always handing somebody a 20 dollar bill not everybody has a 20 dollar bill to hand somebody but it's about giving what you have to others and sometimes we don't think about the things that we actually have to give like time knowledge effort love advice all those things are valuable gifts that god uses all the time so if I ever can find a way, I mean, I pray about it, but if I can ever find a way that I feel is acceptable before God to tell you guys what you guys have done, you, you won't believe it. You won't believe what God has used us to do for people. And I pray one day that I can, I can meet the happy medium and tell you guys without the focus being on me, but with all the focus being on God. I want to do that so bad. I've prayed about that off and on for years, years, and I hope one day I, I can do that. But all that to say, you guys play a huge part in everything I'm able to do, and I thank you, and I love you, and just know that you guys, I know I say it a billion times a year, I know, but I promised God that I would never forget where my help comes from and it is from him but through you guys like he uses people y'all he uses people to get his stuff done and he has provided for me and others in such a way all because people watch 30 45 minute long videos is that not wild that you guys have that big of an impact all from just watching these videos it's insane it's insane but I thank you guys and I love you guys and I pray that you guys get a quarter from me that I get from you. I really, I really hope that I can give you even a quarter of what y'all give me 
when it comes to joy and and just comfort in knowing that I have people who genuinely love me and my family and who genuinely stand by me and are loyal to the end and will take up for me when people call me mentally ill on the internet <laughs> and other ugly names like you don't I pray I do a quarter I pray I make you feel a quarter of the way that you make me feel like I'll be happy with a quarter I mentioned in a video a couple videos ago that I wasn't gonna go huge it might have been the last video that I wasn't gonna go huge on Easter basket stuff uh, I I'm being very intentional on what I bring in the house We've decluttered a lot of the house and I don't want to bring more mindless things in here. I want to be very intentional. So I got a couple of things for little Easter bags. We're not doing baskets this year, but I got a couple of things and it's not a whole lot, but it's things that I think that they'll really find joy in and I think that they'll get use out of over and over. Like it's not going to be a one time, one and done thing and then it just ends up being junk on the floor. I think they're going to get use out of this all season long. I tried to go for things that they could reuse and things that would boost their creativity. I know it. Come here. <laughs> okay okay little boy big boy and i love him and i love him i picked up a couple of things most of it's off of amazon and i'm gonna show you guys that <laughs> he's batting my leg rocky <laughs> he gives the slobberness kisses all right so this is what we got for the kiddos like i said it's not <laughs> I, I wish i could go back and show y'all what we used to get it was it was ridiculous but this year, instead of going all out with the kids and getting them unnecessary stuff, we took the money we would spend for bigger Easter baskets and we're giving their friends Easter gifts too, which I'm really excited about. So what we got as baskets are these little gift bags. And I got a ton because we're doing little gift bags for their friends too. So we've got the four for my kiddos and then there's several more in here for the bags. And then I try to get them each like book or creative something. So this is what we got, Colton. 77 science activities bible lessons it's really cool he literally can go through and do his own science lesson and colton loves science it's his most favorite subject he loves science so i think he will love doing stuff like this cammy loves these things i actually have him another one i cannot find it my room is a mess right now but i have him another one i can't remember what it is paw patrol maybe but he loves these so we got him two of those to go in his basket hopefully i can find the other one and these I found on Amazon. I got them for the girls. And then I also picked up some for their friends. But like, look, it says, nobody loves me like Jesus. How sweet is that? I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And then look. Oh, look what I just turned to. Glory be to God. I can't. I'm a Pentecostal me. It's about to come out. <laughs> I know that they're going to love those. And for like the big thing, the big things, I got them these. It's a four pack. And I thought that that would give them, you know, just like a creative boost. And that would look really good in the trees in our yard. We have so many trees and I would love to decorate them with things made by the kiddos. And then this is the other bigger thing. They're sharing the two big things. And they've been outside all of the time playing with Frisbees, hitting rocks with sticks using them as baseball bats they actually got like one of those big plastic baseball bats at the dollar tree they've been playing with they have been loving playing outside with the dogs so i got them this toss and catch game set and it's got six paddles three balls and one storage bag so i thought they'd really like that candy wise we also didn't go crazy with this year my dogs are chewing on water bottles we didn't go crazy with this year the boys got the yellow peeps one of the girls got the blue peeps one of the girls got the pink peeps and then look at these <laughs> the boys got spongebob chocolate people and the girls got s'more bunny chocolate peoples and then they each got an egg cookie I didn't want to get like a whole bunch of jelly beans and stuff. So they each got an egg cookie and then three of them got these little chocolate egg sucker things. And then y'all know this is Cammy's favorite thing on the planet. We got him a Krabby Patty gummy stick. And that's what they got for Easter. And the money that we saved by not going ginormous, unnecessarily ginormous, we were able to give their friends something. And the kids love doing that with their friends. Like anytime that we do little gift bags or anything for a holiday, Valentine's Day, they always make their little friends like little Valentine's Day gifts and little goodie bags and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna use the rest of these for. A pro to this was this took no time. I got everything ready and set up in like two minutes. I really wanted to be able to teach my kiddos stuff like seed starting and stuff like that. But in order to do that, I had to learn it myself. So I took it upon myself to teach them while teaching myself how to do seed starters with these Jiffy kits. And these things made it so easy for a beginner like me to do this thing. So which one of these do you want? Do you want to do hot peppers? 
you want to do hot cucumbers? Mood. Do you want to do tomatoes? I mean, or do you want to do sweet peppers? What those? Cucumber. Okay. Good choice. Cucumber. The directions were incredibly simple so it was easy for me to follow them it didn't use a lot of like big you know gardening vocabulary words or anything like that it was very straightforward and very simple so what i'm doing here is i'm pouring our little plant mixture in our water all over these so these things can soak it up and get bigger look at it this one's growing look at it isn't that cool yeah look oh my gosh this one's growing look at it compared look. yeah it went like that yeah. to this Okay, so these now, you go in and you move this back. You kind of fluff this out a little bit. Okay. And move Catch this I? back. Uh huh. Move this back. Get it to the tall one for right now. Fluff it out a little bit. Okay. This one's the tall one. Move that. Fluff it out a little bit. There you go. Very good. That's what I'm talking about. They kind of look like sandworms from Dune. Yeah, they do. Okay, <laughs> so shake it up. Shake it up for me. Get it. Okay. Uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa. Take three. Put them in there. And put them in here. I think we're growing cucumbers. Bubble bath. No. He used half of the dish soap. That is not half. It's a really big pot. And it was said. already a lot of it used. <laughs> I just used enough. Oh my gosh. Listen, ducks need a clean trough. All right, so we got <laughs> these ground rods. We had no idea that a ground rod existed. So we found that out while installing the electric fan. So you got to have ground wires. The thing about it is, they're eight foot tall. We only have it like a foot and a half in the ground. We had to climb. Out. We had to climb a tower to hammer it with a sledgehammer down to the ground. But now we've realized, snap, we should have cut it with cutters, and we did cut the other ones. But now this one's stuck in the ground. Yeah, we yeah. got it in good, um, but we got it in too good. <laughs> so now we gotta figure out how to get it out, and then cut it and get it placed somewhere else because it can't be this close to the house. <laughs> our friends actually came over to help us with this whole rod thing and they brought a bunch of really really cool tools that shane had a blast playing with thankfully they work with this kind of stuff before so they kind of know what they're doing where we don't <laughs> they were honestly lifesavers on this day no kidding what is the uh what is it where they're you're like watching spectator no like that uh viewing no they make fun of the guy who we're watching, Josh can do the good thing of like, Word. I think he died. Announcers. Uh, he died. Now we're watching some. Auctioneers. 
<laughs> I'm just throwing out words. <laughs> I'm just hoping one of them hits. What is that uh, guy who, who he died? He was Australian. And he was like, oh, now we're watching. Yeah. <gasps> Steve Irwin. That's all you had to say. I didn't know. I love Steve Irwin. Porky. I feel like we're watching. That's Steve a beaut. <laughs> Let's go stick our heads in, take a plate, come on and leave. It's fun. Oh, it's a little tickled now, that stings a little bit. Oh. That is so. <laughs> so, you know, we just had to slow down a little bit. We were moving too fast. They got they got it stuck in the ground. We're trying. No, so, if this is a lever system. <laughs> we turn this the fence on and off. We're trying to see if you all are gonna be able to figure out this problem. <laughs> Right here, because we know exactly what's, what's wrong, and we got it fixed. We're just trying to empower you. Shane's over there pulling the lever. Well, yeah, you know, it's a little jammed. Yeah. yeah. This is how we make the tracks change. At yeah. least y'all got it in the ground. You just got stuck, but at least it's in the ground. We don't. We can neither confirm nor deny that it is stuck. <laughs> okay. Let's finish our tutorial. <laughs> I'll turn that one to you. I cannot handle all this masculinity. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. There's so much power. If I put these in my pocket, they would be considered concealment of a deadly weapon. Like the whole jackhammer is going to be in the dirt. <laughs> personally care for shovels. <laughs> I call those the devil's hand tools. That's what he uses to torture us humans. Especially us men. You know, our poor backs. I think we should just cut the rod and cut our losses, Shane. I think the Lord wants it right there. That's what I think. Can I get a hallelujah from somebody? Hallelujah. He preached the whole sermon. That rod and that staff. This was meant to be a symbol. <laughs> that rod and that staff, right here. Yeah, a symbol of don't bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> now, careful, you're going to take off the ground. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How many more of these you got? <clears throat> Two more. Two more. From heavenly places. <laughs> I think the Lord has placed it here. He's ordained this spot. Okay. That's what they used to do in the Bible. They used to go to a place. Like <laughs> and we used to call this side of the fence Jordan. Oh, I have spoken. Yeah. Wait, that's not right. He has spoken. He has spoken. <laughs>
Uh, morning of upload, Marina, as per usual. <laughs> I always forget to do an outro whenever it's a week-long video because there's so much going on and I'm doing so much editing throughout the week and doing so much trying to get the video up. So I'm always trying to make sure that everything is up and everything except for the outro, which usually ends me up here the morning of doing the outro. We had a great Easter week. We are doing so much around the house right now. We're in the middle of so much around the house right now. And I've got a very, very important video coming at you. The next video you see will not be a mobile home makeover video, but you will see why. It's a huge video. It's a huge moment of my life and I'm nervous to get it out there. But I'm excited to get it out there and I just feel unimaginably grateful. I'm just, uh, y'all will see. It's, it's a hard video to edit. I'm in the middle of editing it right now and my hand's shaking literally because it, it's a very hard video to edit. Um, I'm very emotional in the video. And I feel those emotions every time I look at a clip from that video. So it's been very, very hard for me to edit. But that's what I've been doing the past few days. I've been taking my time and editing it in increments because, you know, up here needs to be okay. <laughs> Especially whenever I'm posting something like that to the for the whole world to see. Up here needs to be okay. I need to be okay before I get in the comments of that video. And I need to be okay before I show everybody that video. So taking my time with it and making sure that you know i'm in the right headspace and in the right heart posture for whenever i upload that video so that will be the next video you guys see thank you for hanging out with me i hope that y'all have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you so much more i'll see y'all later